Hi guys, so today we are unboxing the Geo uh, Mesh Wi-Fi extender. I think in this part of the video I'll just unbox it and maybe in the next part I'll uh, set it up with the existing Geo Fiber connection. So let's get started. Okay. So I think this is the instruction which you have to follow to set it up. And another set of uh, instruction regarding terms of condition and limited warranty. This is the power adapter which you get along with that. This is I believe is the stand where you, you can basically place the uh, extender. This is the extender. Okay so let's go on to what are the ports which are available. So you have a LAN port which acts as an input. So you can connect the actual router with this extender via LAN or via Wi-Fi. The preferred me method is LAN so that the speed through the extender is also not limiting if you connect it via Wi-Fi. So this also we will check in our final review. This is where your goes the input the adapter plugs in here and the other part goes into your power socket. This is your uh, WPS button over here. Nothing over here. This is your reset button and apart from I, I don't think there is any other port. Uh, in the in the extender this is your standard led indicator whether it's turned on connected and everything i think we'll get details of it once we finally connect it with the uh, geo fiber router uh, so i think in the next part okay. we will continue with our uh, connecting the router with the uh, extender so i have this uh, the LAN cable which is a CAT6 but I think you can use CAT6 or CAT7 I have checked it with CAT6 the speed is almost like equal to what you get in the Wi-Fi uh, so what you have to one end has to be connected with the router and the another end is connected uh, back over here so for first time installation you must connect it in the in this one and uh, as per the instruction now you wait uh, for the LED to turn green so you don't have to do anything else just connect the uh, LAN cable power it on and just wait for three minutes the entire system will be configured so we'll wait a uh, couple of more minutes so we have uh, now light turned on uh, so let me check uh, on my PC if we can uh, see the Wi-Fi available the moment I open my laptop it was connected to the extender itself so that that is basically I think one of the great feature of have using the mesh extender where you don't have to do anything the main router functionality gets sort of replicated over here so let me just quickly do a speed test to see what kind of speed I am getting uh, from the router uh, from the extender and in the second part what I'll do is I'll disconnect the uh, extender and directly plug in the LAN cable to the laptop so you can see the difference between the speed I'm getting so in the in this part first it is with the extender I am currently running uh, uh, I, I guess uh, 150 Mbps uh, 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 subscription of uh, geofiber so I am getting close to 90 Mbps of download and let's see how is the upload upload I have seen in generally also with GeoViber varies a lot sometimes I get like really good and sometimes it would really struggle but overall it has been fine so we can see download 94 and the upload is 84 now you can see I am directly connected with LAN with the same uh, router so we will check now how much speed we are getting if we are directly connected with LAN I think the speed difference is there so if you are obviously directly connected to the LAN it is giving you around 143 mbps in download whereas upload speed i think it would be almost same no so upload speed is also there is a slight difference but i can see uh, from being having a no signal at the second floor if i'm getting even 90 mbps uh, it's not a bad but obviously it's not as good as having a lan cable obviously if you guys like the video if you have any other question please give a like and ask your question in the comment section i'll be happy to help you